My name is Swetha and I'm a Manufacturing Engineer at Fictive. Welcome to Module 1 of our DFM Masterclass. This class will teach you the concepts, tips, and tricks to not only design a part that is manufacturable, but also one that is cheaper, faster, and less risky to produce. The first goal for Designing for Manufacturability, or DFM, is to make it possible to manufacture your part. Examples of CNC DFM include partial holes, narrow slots, and internal fillets. These rules divide the design space into manufacturable and unmanufacturable zones. This is very useful, but for designs that are manufacturable, there's no indication as to how challenging the manufacturing process will be. For example, an aerospace part and test fixture are both manufacturable, but the aerospace part is much more complex and therefore has a longer lead time and higher cost. The key to understanding the difference between these parts is understanding manufacturing effort. Manufacturing effort is a measure of the time, care, and challenge needed to manufacture a design. With this concept, we can add an effort axis to the manufacturable zone. The point of least effort is the origin. An example is a piece of stock material with no machining. As design requirements increase, the manufacturing effort increases until the unmanufacturable zone is reached. Manufacturing effort is not just one dimensional. It's based on the following five design parameters, part geometry, tolerance, part size, material, and look and feel. Going back to our examples of an aerospace part and a test fixture, we can map the design parameters onto their respective effort axes and see the relative effort. The aerospace part maps to high effort across all parameters and the test fixture maps to low effort. As a designer, your goal is to create a design with the least effort possible given the design requirements. To help define least effort, let's break the manufacturability region into least effort, incremental effort, and max effort zones. Let's take a look at least effort for CNC machining. Designing to these parameters is good for low requirement applications like the test fixture. For materials, least effort can be Delrin for plastic, 6061 aluminum for soft metal, and 1018 steel for hard metals. For least effort geometry, try to fit the part shape as closely as possible to a stock bar, sheet, cube, or rod to require as little material removal as possible. Limit part shapes to what is millable by a three-axis CNC machine without using 3D machining and limit the number of setups required. For basic tolerancing, ISO 2768 medium is a good low effort choice to call out. Keep part size between 6 inches in the long dimension and 2 inches in the short dimension to reduce the amount of fixturing needed to hold your part. For a low effort surface finish, use a 16RA standard finish across the entire part. And for fillets, use the biggest radius whenever possible. That covers the overview of Module 1 of the DFM Masterclass. See the rest of the module for more details, examples, and information. Thanks for watching!